Welcome, Pooch! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Fun the Blanks. Welcome back to Crunch Bamber Bop 2. Uh, I just learned something. With the PlayStation 3, I can go here and I can go to controller settings and go digital to analog. Now I can use my analog sticks. Uh, I honestly didn't know that at all because um, I don't use my PlayStation 3 as a PlayStation 1 until I've restarted playing all the Final Fantasy games for PlayStation 1 on it. Uh, so that's kind of cool so I can like walk and stuff and move around better. Um, uh, right after we finished last time, I went back to Crash Dash and got that silver, uh, the clear gem, so that we could, uh, that you guys didn't have to watch me get those, like, three or four crates that I missed. So now that we have all the doors here done, uh, we can go right here and, uh, get a thumbs up from Crash. Woo! Give me another thumbs up there, Crash. Yeah! Press up. This is the little elevator that goes from room to room. And, uh, to get to the next room, we first have to defeat a boss. And the first boss is Ripperoo. It's the only boss I actually remember from this game. Um, I guess he's from the first one. Because I remember Cortex saying something like, I guess he wasn't the match for you again. Something like that. I don't know. Something stupid. Uh, good idea for a boss, I guess. He jumps around, has the TNT. Just avoid where the, like, the glow is so that you don't get hurt. And then hit him. And, oh, no, okay. Uh, okay, he does the Nitro first, then you can hit him. There we go. Just, again, stay away from the green glow. And smoke him right in the face. And then just repeat. Three times, as per video game rules of the early, mid-90s. Oh, damn it. It's a decent idea for the boss. And plus it uses the game's, like, crate mechanics, I guess, which is a good idea. Plus it shows how kind of a crazy uh, Rip Roo actually is. There we go. Oh, jeez. Now, again, I've never played the first one, um, but it looks like, I don't know, down there, the picture of, of, of Ripperoo, it makes it look like he was, like, super smart, because he has, like, the um, the graduation cap and, like, the diploma with the name on it. So, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he went crazy after I beat him in the first one. And there we go. That's it. So, we got our little crash dance. Woo! Any excuse uh, to dance. Yeah, and you can't skip this one, it feels like. There we go. Woo! Now we get to the second floor. Uh, the worlds don't actually have names. I guess it's just floor two. Because um, none of them have themes, I guess. Oh, other than ice theme, I, I, I guess. And the first level looks like Snow Biz, so maybe that's why it's all icy. Maybe you should listen to your sister, Crash. She seems a little smarter than you. Uh, so we're going to take a detour and not go to level 6. We're actually going to go ah, actually going to go to level 7. There's a reason for that, because uh, there's something in level 7 that you can get that is required to 100% snow biz. So let's go to Air Crash. Woo! Um, also, did Cortex say when all 13 plants align? Where the hell are we? Like, he said Earth, so clearly we're in our solar system. It must be a weird alternate dimension where... You know, bandicoots can talk and stuff, so. Anyways, we're actually not beating this entire level uh, this time. We're just, whoa, getting a very well-kept secret. A uh, very well-hidden secret. Like, way too hidden, to be honest. Especially for this far in the game. Up here, get this, because I might die a lot. Uh, Alright. Uh, so jump on this ledge here. Use uh, Crash's Shadow to guide you, but there, didn't make it. I guess I, I should 
not stop. I want to keep going. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, I don't have to jump. I can just do that. Okay. Doink. Doink. And yeah. Who the hell would have thought of that? Anyways, that brings you to a secret warp room. Ripping off H.C. Bailey's method of talking now. Sorry, buddy. Uh, so yeah, we're in a secret warp room. Look at that. And a bunch of levels, like level uh, 14 and level 26. Level 27. But I thought Cortex says there was only 25 gems. So how, why is there more levels than that? Oh, I don't know. Cause it's a video game. And then you can save here if you want to. And there's even one for level 7 there. Uh, and there's level 2 for Snow Ghost. So we just came from level 7. So you'd think there'd be something here. So, whoa. I, I actually had no idea you could do that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so I can still say it here. Anyways, now we can actually go back to level 2, Snow Go. Remember where that red gem was? Uh, if you don't remember, watch my first uh, episode again. And uh, give me some views there, why don't you? Uh, basically, it starts off at a different area of level 2. So yeah, let's continue. Oh god. Ah! Oh, jeez. Wow, that is slippery. And those hedgehog uh, porcupine guys. Ah! Yeah! Holy crap. Okay, can't be killed when their spikies are up. Gee, ah! Oh, I guess maybe they can. I don't know. Jeez, I hate ice. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> I got right worried. I was like, what the hell is that? And it was an Aku Aku mask, and I should have kept it. Anyways, you'll notice there's no crate here's, uh, crates here. And the reason for that is because, well, we already have the crates for World 2. Ah! But uh, level 6, the one we've already skipped, um, has an area that we need to uh, to go for, for extra crates and stuff, which... Oh, damn it. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, why can't I... Is there a thing? Oh, damn it. Really? I'm trying to be way too careful. Oh, really? Crash, you can't even, like, touch a penguin. A very cute penguin that didn't do anything. Oh, I'll just go fast. There we go. Speed is always the way. Speedrunning makes some levels a lot easier in a lot of games. I don't know why that is. Donkey Kong is a perfect example of that. Um, after me and Danny play through Tropical Freeze, like, ever, after we beat a few levels and we're done recording, um, I sometimes go back and just check out um, some of the levels that we had trouble with. And it's so much easier to beat these levels when you uh, when you're speedrunning it because everything's like at a fixed pace I guess so as long as you're still move ev er, you keep moving everything gets a little easier it's really weird ah uh, oh, damn it oh, I guess I can just do this oh no damn you nitro why are you there some people are probably going oh well if the nitro's there isn't that a block I missed no because that that um the switch that I got the end of uh, the first time through this level gets this for me. Oh, come on. Why is this so difficult? Because of ice, of course. Because uh. it, it screws up the way you jump in, in midair, too. Like, your momentum. It's it's really annoying. You know what? It's probably... An, uh, oh, I have to. Never mind. Guess I'll try to be a little bit more careful. There we go. Oh, come on. There we are. That's probably a lot easier than go on the ice anyways. Lots of one-ups. I love that. Plus another one right now. And an Aku Aku mask. Mine. Oh, ah! Wow. That was fail. Ugh, I hate this. Go fast. Gotta go fast. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Go fast. Pretty sure those lives are gone now. Oh, well, those ones aren't, because I didn't get those. Ah, oh, come on. Stop giving me trouble, Ice. Oh, yeah. So hard to control with the ice. Damn it. Why do I forget to slide? There we go. Yeah, okay, so they, they are gone. But, still get a life. And give me that Aku Aku mask this time. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's right. Woo! Come on, Nitro. Of course! Uh, screw it. 
with my track record lately, it's not been going well with stuff like that. Holy shit. Okay. So much crap to get around. Ow. Oh, well, I got that Echo Echo Mask, so not a big deal. Are we almost there? There we go. Bam. Red gem. And now we just got to beat the level. And I'll do that right now. I'll see you guys in a bit. And now with that red gem, we've finally 100%ed the first floor. Don't watch your dance. Stop. Stop dancing. Stop it. There we go. So we got blue gem, regular gem, clear gem, red gem, regular gem, clear gem, clear gem, regular gem, clear gem, regular gem, clear gem, regular clear gem. Got them all. How about a thumbs up there? Yeah, that's right. Woo! Floor two. Back we go. We're not going back to air crash. Um, we're going to basically act as if we just got here for the first time and go to snow biz. Now with the red gem, the red gem makes 100%ing uh, snow biz possible because it's not possible without it. Um, and the reason for that is kind of the same reason where, uh, if you guys remember the third level from the first floor, there was an area where there's a blue gem that brings me to a different area. And that blue gem was the blue gem we got from level one. So this area has a an area where the red gem we just got will bring us. Um, if you don't have the red gem when you get there, it's just... Oh, damn it. Come on. Oh, it's not a one-up. Uh, the red... Uh, if you don't have the red gem, uh, the area where the red gem should be will just be like this... Um, like a wire frame of the red gem. So now that we have the red gem, we don't have to worry about it. Whee! We do have to worry about more ice, which is not fun. Not fun at all. And we want to make sure we get all the crates, of course, like always. Take that. Oh, damn. So how come that didn't count? Whatever. There, there's the red gem. And we go to a very difficult area. I think it's difficult. I have no idea. Is that it? What Should I have gotten that? What was that? Oh, well, too late now. It looked like I could have broken through that. Alright, so. Yay. I want as many lives as possible because I'm going to be using so many later on in the game. I think it's not too, too hard to farm lives though, which is nice. Damn it. Don't. Come here. Good. Oh, that was weird. It's like he hit me and then he didn't. Whatever. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, that actually hurt me? Okay, I didn't think I'd be in that that area of effect, but whatever, I guess that doesn't matter. It's not like I was very far. More fruits. I think they're wampa fruits or something like that. I don't know. I should really look this stuff up before I start playing a game for you guys. Nice. Oh, damn it. Ah, good stuff. Okay, I guess I'll lay low this time. Ow. Lay low this time. Stay here. And there we go. Hit this thing. Boink. There we go. Ah, oh, dang. Come on. Oh, weird. I keep forgetting I still have, like, 3D movement. Oh, I guess I don't. If this was a Mario game, I wouldn't have trouble bouncing, uh, jumping on, like, singular blocks. There we go. How's that not hitting? There we go. Oh, weird. I didn't know you could actually do that. Ugh. There we go. Doing well. Doing well now. Oh, nice. Definitely want that. Yeah. Just gonna double check to see if there's anything over here. No, nothing. Okay. Good. Lots of fruit, though. Man, I'm getting, uh... So many of them. And one-ups, too. Oh, no. Threat has been detected according to the computer I'm using. Bah, whatever. Friggin' pop-ups. Oh, what the hell do I do here? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. 
<laughs> this is fun. Uh, okay, I can still get that. Oh, good. So I don't miss anything. So much fruit! Ah, oh, I can't get that one. Uh, I want to get it. I want to get it. It takes Crash so long to just turn around in the air. Nice. There we go. Ah, oh, I really think... I thought I'd make that, but I just got that continue block, so... Or crate or whatever. Okay, good. Just means more fruit for me! <laughs> and more death. Which again means more fruit for me! It's weird because, like, again, with the whole 3D movement, despite it being like a 2D looking level, it's silly that they could make it so that you could, like, jump off. You know what I mean? Alright, let's, uh. Okay, there we go. How am I doing? Am I getting there? Am I close? Or am I just getting more fruit? Holy shit. I think I'm doing good, though. There's no enemies right now, so that's nice. Ah. That's gonna break. Metra. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, jeez, really? Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! Holy crap. Oh, Naughty Dog, you, you hate your players. Am I almost done? Take this guy out. There we go. Yeah! Holy shit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so back to the regular part of the level. Woo! Do a dance. Do a dance there, Crash. Okay. And now we're back to where I was. I do not want to get that again. Though I am really curious about that area that looked like I could like smash into it. But whatever. Let's just keep it going. Nice. There we go. If you miss one like I just did, you can just do this and get back. So, not a big deal. Oh god, I didn't expect to be able to do that. But you know, it's just the way it is when you're super good at Crash Bandicoot. Woo! There we go. One, two, three. Okay, doing good, doing good. Nice. I really would like a mask right now. Oh, nice, okay. Always useful. Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, oh, freak, the ice makes you go so fast. This is kind of an easier one than uh, what we've been facing up to this point, especially with that crazy red gem area. Oh my god. Those areas are nuts, though. They're, like, just made to screw you up. Okay. Oh, careful here. Want to let the ice's, uh... I don't know, movement stop before you do anything there. There we go. Woo! Done and done. I got a lot of lives, though, this episode, which is really nice, because I'm going to be wasting so many later. Oh, oh, see, that was bullshit. I don't understand how that hit me. Whatever. Right here, though. There we go. Oh, okay, that hit me. I'll, I'll give that one. Come on, want to finish this up or this uh this level? There we go. Boink. Ah, I do. That was close. Do I have to do this again? Oh no, cool. It blocks it off, so I've already done it. It's it's complete. That's a cool idea. I like that. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit there again. Anything back here? Nope. 
We're at the home stretch there, guys. And good thing for we got Naku Aku Mask. And there's the uh, the regular gem, or the crystal, or whatever you want to call it. Good. You always want to make sure you get them before leaving the level. Uh, they're usually always, in, like, right in front of you, so whatever. Except for, like, that one level where we had the multiple paths. And there we go. Home free. Did we get it? Did we get it? I'll be pissed if we didn't. Oh, what? I missed one. Which one did I miss? No idea. Oh, well. Um, I'll do that my own time. I'm Phil the Blanks, and tune in next time, guys, for more Let's Play Cringe Beamer Bop 2 Cortex Strike Back. See you guys later. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.